Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the Seattle Seahawks and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Play fake here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. First carry for Thomas Rawls. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. So a couple failed attempts here for the ground game, assuming you pass here on third. Doesn't look like you're getting anywhere running the ball at all, so I would agree with you on that one. You've got to think about going to the air to try to pick up the yardage you need. Anything in particular you look for on third and long? I don't think you go play action here. Just go back in the pocket, get out of your hands pretty quickly, and let your receivers do the work. So on fourth down, as seen on TV, here's their resident strongman, John Ryan, on to punt. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And he did get it back, I do think. Yes, so no turnover on the punt, and it'll be a first down. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. Winston now to throw on first down. And his first pass is incomplete. He was trying to get it to Cecil Shorts that time. And that'll bring up second down. A second down throw for Winston. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. He got 29 yards that time. Back now with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Bucks in possession of the football as we begin the second quarter. And they've got it here with a first down. Jameis to throw it. Oh, it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. They had a chance there to finish things off didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. The first carry here for Jaquiz Rogers. Able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Winston to throw for it on four. And this is incomplete. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt. Let's look ahead for a quick minute. We don't have the schedules yet for next year, but what we do have are the five international games that will be played, four in London and then one again in Mexico, Jacksonville, Baltimore, Miami, New Orleans, Cleveland, Minnesota, Rams in Arizona, those in London, and then Mexico's going to get a great game the Raiders and New England. Yeah, you're exactly right. And just think about the ones in London. Remember, they're splitting them between the two different stadiums yep. in London. So they get a different flavor in all of these places. But Mexico, for the second straight year, the Raiders are coming to town. That should be a whole lot of fun. Should be a ton of fun and a very good matchup. Again on second. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. And apparently that's all, Larry. So much for the halftime report. We'll see in the postgame. We're ready to get to the third quarter. This will be taken short. 
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. There are zero points on the scoreboard for either side. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments were made. The defenses have obviously been great. So if you like defense, this is a classic game. This is what you're looking for. But now you're trying to figure out how to gain any type of an advantage on offense. Is it through a big chunk play that they haven't seen before? Or is it just running your regular offense and running it better, trying to create an opportunity? We'll, we'll see which avenue they choose to go down. A first down throw for Winston. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT in the game. Instead, second down. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Pretty nice coverage there, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. On third down, Winston. He's going to go up top again. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Fourth down, Winston. He's going to take another shot here. And this is caught. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Cecil Shorts, 47 yards. And the Bucs are able to strike for six. And when a Hail Mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. I don't think there's any doubt about it. And I don't have stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years, the Hail Mary pass has been completed more than it has been. But it feels that way, doesn't it? And I know the defenses are spending more time on it. I think the biggest mistake they make is that they play everything from behind the receiver. I think they've got to start getting people in front as well to try and knock the ball away. They go play action here on first down. He's got time in the pocket. Pass incomplete. Marcel Reese is fullback, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? second remains now in this third quarter. Off the play fake to Rawls. Wilson. And he's going to be taken down. He's sacked on the final play of this third quarter. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. It's the Seahawks with possession of the football, but they do trail here to begin quarter number four. And the offense now will try to regroup after the sack on second down. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. to throw and that one goes incomplete on the drop that's one he definitely normally catches fourth down down seven and they've got to go for it here on fourth down every time I see a hitch pattern dropped 
I go back to the combine because there's a drill that they use all the time that's called the gauntlet drill where receiver catches the ball and just works his way straight down the line and catches it from different sides. And the problem with that drill is that you don't actually have to secure the catch. You just kind of catch it, drop it immediately, and keep moving. And sometimes that shows up on plays like this. So out come the Bucs now. They have the lead. It's still a one-possession game, but the defense got the stop. They've got the football now. Just salted away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now starting to take their tape off. And, hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means ball security. Absolutely. Stranger things have happened. Now Winston, and his throw is going to be incomplete. All defenders get tired of hearing about their lack of hands and why they're playing defense instead of offense, but in this situation, it was the hands that made the play. Batting the ball away on an attempted touchdown pass, excellent job, way to knock it down. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. And he'll fight his way. And now the Seahawks are going to take a timeout here on defense. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And Aguayo able to knock it through. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So barring something extraordinary, something crazy here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Brandon, this will be a great win for them. The better team's going to win this game, no question about it. So a very short kick here. This will be taken by one of the up men. Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Here's Wilson. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. He was looking for Thomas Rawls there. And that'll make it third down. And some secondary help here for the defense and the nickel on third and long. Wilson. And this one incomplete. So the clock stopped now with 20 seconds remaining. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Chris Conti. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. But I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. Going for the deep ball. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Well, partner, I think the defensive fellas got the memo, and they decided to cover him on that play. Yeah, he's already up over 100 yards in this game. They tried a deep shot, couldn't get it. Yeah, when you've had that much success, finally, someone said, let's try and put a stop to it and put people on him. It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Here's Winston. He's going to let it go again. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. One well, of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. 
Well, Charles, the forecast called.